Welcome to the Smart Company's instructional video for setting limits on smart motors. Most motors supplied by the smart companies are smart motors. These motors will come with a tool for turning the limit buttons and a remote. Not all remotes are identical to the one shown here, but they all work the exact same way. They have an up, a down, and a stop button on the front. This example is of a motor on the left side. For motors on the right side, the limit buttons would be in the reverse of what is shown in this video. The first step, take off the back cover of the remote. If the battery is not installed, install it now. Next, connect the power. We recommend using a test switch as shown here. Test switches can be built or purchased. Once power is connected to the switch, turn the power on. Now, press the program button twice on the back of the remote. Next, hit the up or down button to test direction. If the motor is moving in the wrong direction, stop, turn the switch off, and disconnect the power. Now reconnect the power and turn the switch back on. If you have a motor left, hit the program button twice and hit the up button to change direction. If it's a motor right, hit the program button twice and push the down button to change direction. Stop the motor once you've achieved the proper direction. You can now set the limits. Start by putting the supplied tool as shown in the bottom or lower limit button. Hit the down button on your remote and turn the tool to stop the motor as shown here. Once stopped, turn the tool slowly in the opposite direction. This will move the shutter or screen back down. When it reaches the point you'd like it to stop, remove the tool and push the stop button. The down limit is now set. For the upper limit, place the supplied tool into the upper limit button as shown here. Push the up button on your remote and turn the tool as shown until the shutter or screen stops. Now, turn the tool in the opposite direction slowly until the shutter or screen has reached the desired point. Once there, remove the tool and press stop. Your upper limits and lower limits are now set. It is important to always press stop when the shutter screen has reached its up or down stopping point. This will stop the signal being sent to the motor and will increase the lifespan of your motor. Congratulations, you've learned to set limits on smart motors.